in our last lecture we discussed about sequence networks of impedance loaded loads we discussed like the sequence voltages and sequence current we have sequence impedances and similarly like the sequence voltages and sequence impedances the sequence currents we have sequence impedances the positive the negative and the zero sequence impedances then we discussed about a matrix relating the phase voltages and similarly the phase impedances and the phase currents later on in the same lecture we discuss how to convert a delta into a star connected a star connected load and how to find the zero sequence component the positive sequence component and the negative sequence component we also solved a problem related to calculate the zero sequence component the positive sequence network and similarly the negative sequence network today's lecture is actually the continuation of the same lecture and if we want to generalize this system what we will be having we will be having three voltages the vag the vbg and the vcg relating or connected to the three phase impedances this impedance load might be some y connected valence load or maybe some delta connected ba balance load or it might be an imbalance load and to find a relation actually we will be having some three matrices the phase voltage matrix the impedance matrix the phase impedance matrix and similarly the current matrix and like the phase voltage matrix consists of the vag the voltage between a and the ground vbg the voltage between the b and the ground similarly the voltage between c and the ground similarly the matrix zp or the matrix of the impedance is actually a matrix that have the self impedances the zaa the self impedances the zbb the self impedance the zcc the self impedance and similarly the mutual impedances the zab between the a and the b the zac between the a and the c similarly the zdc between the b and the c and similarly ac and bc or we can just simply write voltage phase voltage is equal to the phase impedances with some multiplication of the current matrix or we can if we see write the same matrix in the form of sequence voltages and sequence currents and sequence impedances we can write that the sequence voltage is equal to the sequence impedance times the sequence current or the sequence impedance is equal to the inverse of the a matrix the phase impedances and the a matrix so the sequence impedance the zero sequence the positive sequence the negative sequence the mutual sequence between the zero and the positive the zero and the po negative similarly the positive and the negative and similarly the negative and the zero and the negative and the positive or we can simply write we have some diagonal components and off diagonal components so the diagonal components are the zero positive and the negative sequence impedances or the self impedances and the off diagonal components are the mutual impedances mutual in between impedances between the sequence networks 
of diagonal of diagonal and the diagonal the diagonal the self impedances the off diagonal the off diagonal the mutual impedances two off diagonal matrices and similarly the self impedances or we can just simply write the zs zs matrix a inverse the zp matrix and similarly the a matrix so actually the sequence impedances of the product of the a inverse matrix the phase impedances and the a or we can solve so we don't need right now to hold this equation comes because in problem uh, in problem i think uh, problem 8.18 we already have to calculate this so we don't need to calculate right now the zero sequence impedance is what actually one third and the self impedance plus twice that of the mutual impedances similarly the positive sequence and the negative sequence are equal and they are have the self impedances and difference between the mutual impedances or we can write this in the form of this these these are actually in the form of operator a and operator a square we can write this and we have we will be having two types of load the symmetrical loads and the unsymmetrical loads in case of symmetrical loads the sequence impedance matrix is diagonal that is all the mutual impedance are zero so if we have symmetrical loads we will be only having some value for the zero sequence the positive sequence and the negative sequence while these component the zero one this component this component this component similarly this this these all will be zero so we will be having zero 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 here one 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 and zero 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 so the total matrix will be, it will be some diagonal matrix having values for the positive sequence for the uh, for the zero sequence for the positive sequence and for the negative sequence while the rest will be equal to zero and if we have symmetrical load the self impedances the self impedances between a a a b and a c will be equal to will be equal and similarly if we have the condition for a symmetrical matrix are that the diagonal phase impedance be equal and the off diagonal impedances be equal so the diagonal impedances are equal and the off diagonal impedances are equal or we can just simply write in the form of like we have z01 10 20 all are zero and similarly for the zero sequence it is nothing but actually it is the self impedances of a and doubles the a and b similarly z1 and z2 is nothing but z a and the difference z a a and the difference similarly if we want to find a sequence network for three phase symmetrical impedance non rotating equipment with no ground it will be having some positive sequence component similarly some negative sequence network positive zero sequence network positive sequence network and negative sequence network so we will be having some positive sequence network some zero sequence network positive sequence network and similarly some negative sequence network and these are some point to be noted that when we have symmetrical load the positive and the negative sequence impedances are equal z1 and z2 are equal when we have symmetrical components similarly when we have non symmetrical loads that time the positive and negative sequence are equal but the relation is different the relation is different similarly when we have 
some rotating equipment like we have some generators or motors in power system then the positive and the negative sequence component are not equal or not equal and similarly we also have to note that the zero sequence impedance z not is not equal to the positive and negative sequence impedance of asymmetrical load unless the mutual impedance are zero if the mutual impedance are zero then z not will be equal to z1 and z2 otherwise z not will be having some other values so this is uh, the end of of today's lecture and uh,